Okay, folks, this is just a little impromptu video for you here. I am uh, <clears throat> harvesting queen cells. I'm not sure how well you can see that if my camera's focusing or not. But anyway, um, on this frame here, this was a frame that I placed in my grafting box. I grafted queen cells uh, on Sunday. Today's Friday. And uh, I put this extra frame <laughs> in the cell starter. And when I looked at it in the cell starter, I didn't see the eggs in it. I thought it was just uh, cat brood or old larva and pollen. Well, it turns out it had plenty of young larvae in it that the bees liked. So I go and make all my grafts and come out, you know, 24 hours later to check the grafts. And I find two. Well, I thought I had about five grafts started, um, but I found more capped queen cells than I did more capped emergency or more started emergency cells on this frame than I found started grafts on my grafting frame. So, you know, your initial <laughs> initial response for me <laughs> was to destroy those emergency cells. On the frame but then I thought actually you know what I'm gonna put them right back into a cell finisher just like I would the grafts so they're gonna finish them like swarm cells or like good cells not like emergency so I went ahead and let them finish them so I checked in today and I've got only two grafted Queens that took and I've got about a half a dozen of these emergency Queens that took so what I'm doing and I'm sorry I probably cut this out of the entire video but I've just been going through with my knife here and I'm Fat B-Man style, if you will, because that's where I saw him do it. And just cutting out this chunk around the queen cell, which results in a queen cell like this with a chunk of comb. Now, this queen cell, the whole back side of it's damaged. But I've seen videos where a damaged queen cell will still hatch. So, eh, I don't know. It's got royal jelly in there, but now nah, I'm going to pitch that one. But anyway, I've got two more. I've already put one into a queen cage. But I just go in, I'm just cutting out this chunk right here around the queen cell, big enough that I don't actually open the queen cell on accident. And then I'll move these queen cells with their chunk of comb, I'll try to squish it down a little bit, into these um, these hair roller cages that I like to use. These are the hair roller cages. And they're I think they're actually designed for transporting queens, but I like to use them for queen cells to actually hatch out into it. I'll, I'll put a video up a long time ago about how I do that, but I'll show you here again in a second. So anyway, this will be an interesting little test. We'll see. They've got two more cells here they haven't capped yet. So I'll try to check back in the next day or two and go ahead and cut those two out as well and put them into cell into uh, hair roller cages. But I don't want to put them into cages yet because they're not capped. So I want the bees to keep tending to them up until they're capped. The only ones I'm moving today are the ones that are capped. So I'm going to stick that back in there. And let me show you here. Let me see what you all can see. Okay. So let me show you here. We've got our hair roller cage. Right here, we're gonna close this cap on the bottom. This is actually designed to put um, candy in on top of your hair roller cage, stick it in there like that. And then I'm gonna take this whole queen cell, wax junk and all, and I'm gonna mush that junk down enough that I can fit this in there. And you, you guide that queen cell in. You're gonna look in from the bottom here. Look in from the bottom. You're gonna guide that queen cell in to make sure you don't mush the queen cell at all as you're pushing it in. And then we'll just kind of nest it right in there. It looks like that. Now I'm doing this now because these queen cells aren't in their sensitive development phase. They were just capped today. So I wanted, you want to do it now and not put this off and then be trying to do it a day or two before they hatch because then this queen cells are really sensitive. So get that. Get your little cap here. Plug it on. And then I've got my frame that I use to hold my caged queen cells. Just stick her in there like that. We'll stick them right back in amongst some broods so the nurse bees are there to keep them warm. And uh, hopefully, in a few more days, I come out here and have some virgin queens hatched out in cages so they can't kill each other. That's the ideal. Hope that helps y'all.